Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the history of one of the most critical platforms in modern warfare, unmanned vehicles. The story of the un unmanned ground vehicles date back to First World War. During the war, several French inventors worked on remote cable controlled tracked vehicles to carry explosives and detonate in the midst of the enemy. However, they performed poorly in rugged terrain and overshadowed by newly introduced tanks. One of the designers was Adolphe Kegris. After the invasion of France in 1940, Kegris's prototype was captured by Germans. Wehrmacht requested a similar war machine, so Borgwert Automotive Company in Bremen was given the task. The result was SDKFZ 302, or widely known as Goliath. It could carry 60 kilograms of explosive and it was connected to a joystick with a 650 meters long cable. Electric motors were used in earlier models, but as they are expensive, petrol engine was used later. Goliath saw action from 1942 on all fronts. A total of 7,564 Goliaths were produced. They weren't considered as successful due to its low speed. 6 km per hour, easily breakable control cable with artillery or mortar shots, and thin armor which cannot prevent even small arms fire. Throughout the war, they failed to reach the target most of the time, but when they did, they delivered devastating damage to the enemy. Although they weren't considered as successful, Goliath laid the foundation of remote controlled unmanned vehicles after the war. Hit the subscribe button and don't miss some interesting World War II stuff. See you on the next one.